Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, somebody had requested I do this for them through an email. This isn't their tree that they picked, but I helped them do their tree. So I thought I'd, I just grabbed a, I went to clip art and I just typed in tree silhouette. And I came out with this. It's not the best tree in the world, but this would be if you were going to make couple of things one in three different frames um, these are let's see what size they are they're 24 by 12 by 28 but you could you know start with your laser size and this would be something that you could do if your laser is it 36 inches you know uh, 36 by 28 which most people don't have so you could do one tile. This is basically a tile, but it's totally different than putting it in a tile because it's got a frame and it's, so everything black would be cut out. And so here's the vector of the frame itself. And I've, I've separated them a quarter inch just so you could, like they would probably be hanging on the wall. But this is uh, kind of a fun project and it's really kind of easy. And so you just start out with a tree and you, you know, I vectorized it and traced it, and and then I made three tile with an inside and outside box, and my nudge distance is set on 12 inches, so I'm just going to move this basically to the center of the screen, and this is kind of an easy, fun project. Just take your smart fill tool. Tell you what, we're going to zoom in here. We're going to do the left side first. I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm just going to start filling in the black, whoop, filling in the black, all the black limbs that are touching that edge. Got that one done. Now take your pick tool and select just the, just the uh, color fill and move it over 12 inches or a bunch of 12 inches. Then take your smart fill tool and fill in the center one, which is going to fill all of it and just move it over. Then you'll have to zoom in on this one because there's some little bitty parts up top and color fill them. Whoop. Grab the line. Color fill these. Whoop. I didn't mean to do that first one. Everything on... No, nope. matter of fact, I'm see when I zoomed in, I messed up. I want everything on the right side of that last line. So I'm going to do just that, 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 those, that one, that one. And you'll be able to see real quick the ones that are connected and the ones that are not. Then take your smart fill tool or your pick tool and just select all of the color fill. Now we can actually take our tree out of there. We don't need it anymore. And now we're going to take the, basically what we're going to do now is select this and put no fill red hairline. We're going to take our interior box and move it over. And then we're going to select it all and we're going to go back minus front. And what that did, that welded these parts to your border. We're going to move over the, this interior box. We're going to select all that. And we're going to go back minus front. Then we're going to move over that interior box. And the reason I'm leaving the outside box not check because when you do this it would take it away back minus front now we can select all these and just move them back now all you do is take your color fill tool and fill in your borders and they're going to automatically show you that you've got a complete tree this is a cool project because you could do something much bigger than your laser bed uh, you know make make each panel as big as your laser bed could be and I just made the tree kind of fit. I kind of, you know, tweaked it a little bit, made it fit the frame. But it's that easy. Um, and it's a 
pretty fun project. And of course, you would cut all this out and I guess uh, back it up with some uh, another piece of wood painted or some brown paper. You know, and so if you did this out of plywood, and then you would have the wood itself showing through the plywood and then put it in some sort of frame. And uh, so you're, you know, like on this frame, it's 12 by 28, but you could make it any size you wanted and then put that inside of a, a real frame and uh, or just mount it to some wood like that. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.